What is up everyone? Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you two easy ways to add data to an existing pivot table. So in my last video, I showed just an introduction of how to create a pivot table and how to edit it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add data to an existing pivot table. So starting in column H, we have our pivot table. So let's just say we wanted to add data to this for March 20th. So let's say we add a row in here. So if we do control shift and plus, we're going to add a row in and let's say we need to add data for Fred. And let's say two and $3,000. Okay. So we added that data in for Fred. It hasn't been reflected yet in the pivot table. So if we simply click within the pivot table and hit refresh, you'll see that March 20th went from 14,000 to 17,000. So I'm just going to show it one more time. So let's go back. This is it originally, and then we refresh it, and then now it's back to 17,000. And one additional way to add data to a pivot table is, let's say we have two rows of data for 412. Currently, the pivot table stops on April 10th. So if we wanted to include that data for 412, we can simply click within the pivot table, go up to pivot table analyze, go to change source data, and then change source data again. And then it's gonna show the range of what the pivot table is looking up to. So currently it stops at D23. So we want it to stop at D25. So we would just simply change 23 to 25, click okay. And you can see that it's at automatically adding in that additional day for April. So April 12th, $3,000, April 12th, $3,000. So those are just two easy ways to add data to an existing pivot table. Thank you for watching.